Hello everyone, Impure is back with another map making tutorial. Today it's Valentine's Day and a lot of weird stuff has been added. Um, first let's go over to uh, my document and I'll see this um, base, a base or base base or whatever you want to call it. Posted a thread on the forums. Um, you can see it here. He explains it furthermore. I'll just um, show you how it works. So what got added was some power-ups and um, new side-scroll abilities so you can for example now uh, let's add this code which is deviance which allows you to change um, certain objects into other objects so we we'll add this into the code and if you don't want it to do anything other than doing those weird objects just do this and you load it so you have to place it after the P in the code and this is just an empty code without anything on it. You can do it to your map. Let's add some ground here. And let's place your mouse there. So one thing, so now I have nothing yet, but one thing you notice if you go off screen too far, eventually, if you do it with the, uh, no, not failing, but if you do it with um, normal rooms, you will die off screen. So that's one new thing added. Then, also, if you now place a rune, it will become a booster. If you place a ball, it will become uh, a, like a fake cheese. I, I don't really understand that yet, but okay. Left uh, rotating anchor will become a trampoline, and right rotating anchor will become a skull. And the skull kills people. So let's, um, let's go over them and show you what they all do. So let's first uh, do the rune. Let's do the ball. Uh, left right anchor left anchor and let's see what happens if I load now if you can see this one oh, it, it pushed me up uh, forward a bit this is the cheese apparently I got some cheese this allows me to jump and if you touch this one you die so that one is really evil and you're gonna see it on a lot of maps because fucking players of this game are evil and as you can see you can jump pretty high and if they make it reusable the Thingies, and maybe we can have this uh, in boot camp or racing maps would be really nice. So that's the first thing. Um, that's really simple to do stuff with. Now we're gonna add like the length of the map, which has has been changed. You can now make your map apparently 480 long. So let's see if that's the case. So let's load this map so now it will become empty again. I could have copied the code and let's make this 480 as well and see if it's true because I've actually not tested it. Yes, I have not tested it. And I don't think grounds can be 480 long. But either way, let's see. Maybe I need to have auto scrolling on or deviance off. Yes, I probably have to um, take deviance off for now. Let's see if it works without. I've not tested it. I should test things before I explain them. Oh yeah, let's make a ground again. No, let's let's use grass because it has a pattern which continues every now and then. So let's make it uh, 40 wide and uh, 3,000 something, whatever. Because 3,000 is the max. Let's place the mice spawn here and let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, okay. The usual scroll works, and let's see how far it goes. And I still, I'm still running here, and it stops. Okay, so it doesn't work for normal maps. Too bad. But if you add the deviance and speed and stuff with it, now let's see what happens now. If we do speed, let's do speed five, which is equivalent to the speed of the wind and all that stuff. And acceleration, let's do that one. And let's see what happens if I load it now. So I'll paste it here. And I'll make it 3000 again. Put the mice spawn here again. And let's see what happens now. As you can see, the map starts to move automatically. Let's make it accelerate a bit faster. So let's um, copy this code, copy the XML. You can also remake it, and now let's make it uh, acceleration 999 or something. We want it to start at 5 instantly. Like, if you make the right one really high, you just start at a high speed, oh, and you go too fast. So let's not do that, and let's make it 10. 
something less dangerous to play with. Maybe you don't even need the sprawling. But I think there's a limit on it, so you probably do. So what this can do is you can make a map that you have to speed run. So you can make a really long map. Only problem with it is that look, it's uh you need those boosters on this map probably. Let me add some boosters on the map. So let's add some runes. So you can see what you can use the runes for because let's place the runes here and see what happens. So let's boost through this and I don't see myself anymore. So that's one problem. You need to uh, take that in account when making the map that uh, the players can get off screen and all that stuff. Like, look, now my mouse appears again, and this is like a threat mill that's going to kill me. It's going to kill me, and I'm off the map. So, yeah. Um, so, you can make nice scrolling maps and you can um, change the thing of it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load. Uh, going to remove the scrolling and all that stuff and I'm going to make this zero because I want to make something with the new stuff and I probably will make something completely unoriginal and completely boring but my idea was something like you go that way and you go back. Well, pretty simple. Simple as that. So um, it, it will be a simple map to make probably and that's why I want to make it because it's simple. So my idea was place a uh, place a ground here. Uh, then I probably want uh, a speed boost here, like a speed uh, a jump, then a speed boost here. So uh, ball was jump, so I wanted to jump there. I wanted the speed boost there. Then I wanted a uh, jump here. And let's see if we can reach that. Oh no. Uh, what was the jump again? I think it was the, the, the left motor, I think. So let's check that. And that. And I want one here. Let's see if we can reach that one. So let's see. Oh. No, okay. Um, let's do that again. And uh, let's make that one a bit bit more like that so we have an idea what we're doing and can we reach that one yes we can okay so if we place the cheese there we can make a nice way back so now duplicate and place multiple here so you have like a cheese above this one uh, something like this and now let's keep Placing these left ones in a, in a sort of upgoing pattern. I could place like a ground there to make it appear a bit. And yeah, let's actually do that because alignment is really important, guys. So, yeah, you use a ground here. You put them on the line. The distance between them, I don't really care about it too much. If it looks nicely on the eye, it's better. It, it's, it's good enough for me because I don't really have that high standards. Of alignment, if it's just on a line, then well, that looks good enough. Let's see how this looks. So it might be confusing, but if you think about it, you can do this map, get back, get in the hole, and you have to choose. So that was the idea. I'm gonna make it because I like simple maps, and simple maps is what people like. Although the really complicated maps are nice as well, but simple one one. Why do you need to go hard and difficult if you can go simple? Isn't that isn't that how the world works? So yeah, now we have a whole yep, simple use. I, although I need to uh, center the cheese between those two. Okay, now the cheese is centered, and let's do the map. I could have gotten the cheese there, but I don't care. See, it's quite interesting. So, and there we have it. I made a map. I'm going to export it. And thank you guys for watching. And yes, this is a, th a six digit code. <laughs> evil, evil love of doom.